I am seated at the base of the new John A. Cavalier Jr. town clock and what will one day be a historical monument. Three, two, one, there it is. It was a full house at the dedication ceremony in honor of former Miami Springs Mayor John A. Cavalier Jr., who served as mayor from 1979 through 1987 and from 1993 through 2001. He was a very good man and a very good public servant. Even though his time on earth came to an end last August, this clock will immortalize him in this city of Miami Springs. Let us now turn to God who breathes life into each one of us, brings blessings to our lives, and who gives us hope. The people that came out to, for the respect of him and for what kind of a man he was, that they would all come to see the, pre the presentation of the clock was very, was very special to me. We have a lot of people to thank Mayor Bain, the council, for approving this project, like my mom said. Uh, Mr. Alonzo, city manager, Mr. Roland Rivero is here today. This four-sided clock is located on the first block of Curtis Parkway and the Glen Curtis Circle, further beautifying our city. I want to thank all the volunteers that gave their time, their construction. I met Joan through the Hibiscus Art Guild and she had approached me after her husband John Cavalier had passed on and she brought a piece of paper in one day with a picture of the clock on it and she had said that he had always wanted a clock in the city when he was mayor and we brought it to council and council made it happen and then luckily all these businesses stepped forward along with the Dunn family and they made donations and enabled the city to erect this beautiful clock. I knew the family, I love my every spring, and it's something I want to do. And although Mr. Cavalier has passed, his legacy will live on forever. This is Anna Hume reporting for the City of Miami Springs.